You've just joined Plane Crazy, and you've just finished your tutorial. Round of applause for you. Very nice. Alright, and you're looking around after you've finished, and you're very happy with your plane, and you see this on your left. And then, you're like, oh, well, not everyone's like that. And you see this on your right. And you might be wondering, what are those people doing? How did they do that, and how do I be like that? Or, you might be wondering, why did I join this game, and what am I doing here? Uh, either way, you, you've come to me for help. Alright, I'm gonna sort you out. I'm gonna help you with pretty much the basics of playing crazy. I'm not necessarily gonna give you design tips, but I will be giving you tips on, you know, how to balance your plane. I'm gonna be showing you how to use menu controls instead of using mouse controlled controls, which in my opinion is a lot more useful than using mouse controlled controls. I'm also gonna show you what type of thrust is the most powerful, or what type of engine out of all these engines here are the most powerful, and which ones you should be using, alright, and which ones to completely avoid and to never look at again, alright? That's all in this, uh, in this video on how to plane crazy, how to just do pretty much everything, the plane crazy basics. Alright, so this is the next part of the tutorial that's optional, um, it's the manual controls. Now, I, I obviously prefer using menu controls, um, but you could do you. If you want to use them, you can use them. If you don't want to use them, just skip ahead uh, past this part of the tutorial. Uh, Alright, so now the people that are cool, I'm kidding. Now the people that want to use menu controls are here. Uh, let's do it. So your starter plane is going to look something like this. Um, it's always going to look different because this isn't the exact model of the starter plane, but this is going to look something what it looks like, right? You can see that. Um, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna delete some stuff, alright? This is some stuff you don't need. Alright, first of all, we're gonna delete this back panel right here. And then you don't need these inside two control surfaces either. So you can delete those and replace those with wing panel one by two, So that your plane looks something like this, right? Alright, so next I want you to either with your propeller, you can delete your propeller and put the back a super rocket engine or rocket engine. Um, but just with your propeller, I want you to set the controls to this. So your decrease in power is 2 and your increase in power is 1. This is very important, otherwise if you do this, uh, it'll work. If you don't do this, nothing else will work in this, uh, this part of the tutorial. Um, and so next, what you're going to want to do with these back to control surfaces is you're going to want them to set them to WS, WS. See, mine were already set because I've done this before, um, but set them to that. And this little set controls automatically should be off, right? I want it so that the white part in the middle is not there for both of these. And then with these two outside control surfaces you have left, I want you to set them to AD on the left. So the left control surface, the one I'm standing on, you can pause it and look at the one I'm standing on. Uh, set this to A and then D. So lower surface A, raised surface D. And then on the other surface over here, you can set it to lower surface D, raised surface A. And yes, these two are opposite from each other, all right? So when this one on the left goes up, this one on the right should go down. All right, so that was a lot, but you should have gotten all that down. And your planes look something like this, either with the propeller on front or, you know, with your rocket engine on back. Um, and then what I want you to do is I want you to hold down one so that you start speeding up a little bit. Then I want you to hold W, and that should make you pull up. It should make you do basically this, right? I want it to make you go upwards. If that isn't the case, I want you to reset your plane by hitting this button right here, this back button, and I want you to change these two back surfaces to the opposite of what they are. You should be doing some sort of loop when you hold down W. If that's the case, great. You've done everything correctly, and you're, you're on the right track. All right, the next thing I want you to do is hold down A. And your plane should roll to the right almost, like this. You see how mine's kind of rolling? I want it, your plane to do that. So hold on A, and it should roll, like so. If it doesn't, just set the, these two on the left and the right to the opposite of what they are now, and come back to me. And they should be all good. Should be all good. Uh, Alright, so we've done everything we need to do. Our plane is fully operational. So what I want you to do to turn is... Hold down A or D if you want to turn to the right or to the left, and then hit W. 
and you'll basically do a super fast, super speedy U-turn. Almost too fast for me, but you know, it works. But yeah, so to go up, obviously hit W, to go down, hit S, to roll to the right, hit A, and then to roll to the left, hit D. That If that's all working correctly, boom, you've done it. You're amazing, you've completed this part of the tutorial. All right, so now that you've learned how to use manual controls on your planes, you want to know how to balance them because they're going all over the place, all right? Your plane's going up, down, without you even touching any buttons whatsoever. All right, so in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can balance your plane um, without, you know, doing this, all right? Without doing, hmm, center of mass is behind center of wings. Spam some blocks here, and uh, boom, it looks a little closer, all right? No, all right, this is not what I'm gonna be teaching. I'm not gonna say you're gonna wanna spam as many blocks as possible in this direction. I'm gonna show you how to use ballast blocks, um, which are much more effective than just putting blocks down. And what you can find them, or where you can find them, is in the settings tab, or cogs tab, I guess, and then ballast blocks, and then just place two down, uh, kind of in your build almost, like this. Now at first, it's not gonna look like it's done anything. These haven't moved. You know, when you try flying your plane, nothing's gonna happen. What you need to do is actually go into the select an item, click the settings, and then turn the density up to 10. And you can fiddle around with it until it's correct, but I usually put it on two blocks and I see how it works. So without the ballast blocks in here, um, the plane flies like this, all right? This is one of my older planes, so it's not very balanced. Um, but when I take off like so, as you can see, my plane kind of is tilting upwards. I see I'm not touching anything right now. Oh, you can't see I'm not touching anything, but it is tilting upwards like so. Uh, and that's not what I want. I'm not, I don't want that to happen at all. So instead, what I can do is I can get my ballast blocks. I can put them in the part of the plane that I want to weigh it down. So the front, obviously, because that's the lighter part. Set the density up to 10 for both of these blocks. You can see the density on 10 for both of these. And then I can try flying, and I'll see if that's improved it or not. And if it has, then I don't need to place any more. But if it hasn't, then I need to place more. Oh, and look at that. Boom. It's balanced it pretty much perfectly. Um, maybe I would take away a little bit of weight from the front from those ballast blocks. But other than that, it's pretty much perfect. I don't know what just happened there. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much perfectly balanced. So, I would recommend just using ballast blocks for balancing. But... If you want to be that guy that doesn't want to follow the flow of things, you can use helium blocks. Now, they're pretty self-explanatory. You put it on the heavier part of the plane, and like this, it, you know, lightens that part up. It makes it float almost. Now, in the plane plagiarism resource server, helium blocks are prohibited when requesting for a rank, and they aren't as effective as ballast blocks, so I'd really just recommend using ballast blocks or a combination of both if you're feeling adventurous, you know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you balance out your plane with manual controls. Now, with mouse controls, you won't have a balancing problem because you just counteract that kind of automatically with your mouse. All right, so you want to know what the strongest type of engine is in Plane Crazy. All right, let me cut to the chase here. It's probably either going to be hover engines or rocket engines. I'm not going to cover the hover engine glitch method in this video. It'll be in a different video, but they're pretty fast. They're pretty insane. Um, but I'm just gonna go over pretty much the fastest rocket engine, which is the super rocket engine, all right? I'm, I'm not one to procrastinate, all right? I'm just getting straight to it here. The super rocket engine will go faster than any other engine uh, by far. So it'll go the fastest compared to a regular rocket engine. It's like here, if you look, whichever one's faster. Um, as you can see, I've got them lined up here. And the super rocket engine just goes so much faster than the rocket engine. Like, look here already, it's obvious. Boom. Like, it's just not even a fair fight. The super rocket engine, you'll know because it has a blue trail. As you can see, whereas the regular rocket engine has an orange trail. Um, so yeah, that's the fastest engine. Very, very, very brief, I know. I didn't want to waste time for you. So yeah, if you want to find the super rocket engine, just go into this little... Uh, piston looking like cylinder engine thing here go into rocket engines and then go into super rocket engine and boom there is your super rocket engine well uh, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial uh, I hope you enjoyed 
Uh, this was just the basics of playing crazy and pretty much what you can expect with your first time playing a game uh, and how to balance your planes. Now, uh, you know, I'm back. I haven't been back for a while. I know I've been uh, sleeping for all that time, of course. Um, no, I, I've been just chilling, you know. Um, but I'm back now, and that's good, so I guess we'll see where things go. Um, I'm making a lot more tutorials of what I kind of I want to do rather than what I think I should do. So, you know, I'm here now. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, or if you found it helpful, just leave a like. And if you didn't find it helpful, you can tell me why you didn't find it helpful, um, and then you can leave a like. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I think I'm gonna go to bed now. Uh, yeah, you can join the Discord server if you want. Um, you can join the Roblox group if you want. And then you can also just check me out on Twitch, which I never stream on anymore, but you know, you can still follow me. And then obviously, if you feel like it, you can subscribe, uh, you can be nice. Um, but other than that, this has been Duckster. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, peace out, and um, bye. Thank you.